Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3. In today's video, I found an exploit that lets you get rid of all of Great Britain in just about 10 years. So, very first thing we want to do to get rid of Great Britain is play as France, because they're going to have the easiest time doing this, though it is technically possible with other people, just not nearly as easy. Okay, before I get into the exploit, I did want to share with you guys that 86% of my viewers are currently not subscribed, and I'm usually not the type to go and ask people to subscribe, but Statistically speaking, asking people to subscribe on YouTube greatly, greatly affects how many people actually do subscribe. So, but anyway, on to the video. So, Diplomatic Plays Conquer State. We're going to conquer their capital, the home counties. Confirmed that, and we're going to see that only the Netherlands can get involved in this war and Portugal, but neither of those guys matter. So, I'm going to crank the game up to speed 5, go ahead and set the research to literally whatever you want, it's not really going to matter whatsoever. Set the budget however you want as well, I would advise building up a surplus because we're going to need it in the future, so go ahead and just add consumption taxes to your heart's desire, and then go ahead and set your production methods however you would like, basically just pick whatever's going to make you the most money. So the, for the war against Great Britain, we are going to add the war goal of conquer state, and we are going to conquer every single one of these states in the lower side. So that's going to be Wales, Midlands, East Anglia, West Country, and the home counties, which you've already declared for. So Wales, conquer state, West Country, conquer state, East Anglia, conquer state, Midlands. These are the states that we want to take from England at the very beginning. So that's going to cause the Netherlands to probably get involved and a lot of people to hate us. And I'm not too concerned about it because, you know, we're, we're going to be fixing that in a second. But for now, this is all we are going to be doing. So wait for this to go and then we will activate our game plan of how we're going to win this war. Alright, two arms. What we're going to do, come over to your military tab, come over to the Navy. We're going to recruit one general in France. Doesn't really matter who it is, just recruit one. After that, we're going to come to the army, we're going to recruit a general in France as well. It doesn't matter who, we just need to pick one. That's going to balance out these numbers in a way that we can launch full power naval invasions against Britain. So, take your navy dude, naval invasion, which state do we choose? It's going to be Munster. I found this to be the most effective state to launch against. Okay, so we'll launch three naval invasions all at once, and that should be able to bypass Great Britain's defenses. They don't have a lot of troops on Ireland, so we should be able to land pretty effectively. You will need to pay attention to make sure Great Britain does not naval invade you, but as long as we do this immediately, they shouldn't have time to get a naval invasion off. So we'll sit and wait for the naval invasion to launch. Looks like we are not going to get lucky on this round. Okay, we got very unlucky this time. 90% of the time this will work on the very first one. It looks like I'm going to have to try this again. So that's super, super unlucky. This is probably like a 5% chance of happening every time I've done it. And they're launching a naval invasion against me that looks like they're actually going to land. So this is fantastic right now. All right, looks like I'm going to have to handle this very quickly. So we need to kick them off our mainland. Now, they don't have my capital yet, so I'm going to put this 100 dude here. And this is actually, might, this might actually be beneficial to me. I'm going to attempt to launch a naval invasion into the home counties now because we wanted to get a border with Britain so that they would dump all their troops here. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. All of these troops are British, 95, and then they're bringing in some from their buddies. So they've got 95 troops here. Great Britain only has about 106 plus 80 for their conscriptable battalions. And I'm not sure if they went and conscripted anybody yet, but we'll find out. This is a little bit more adaptive than most playthroughs, because most playthroughs you'll land in Munster and then you'll land in home counties afterwards. But apparently the game doesn't want to be nice to me this time, after I've already attempted to do this like five times in the past and, it's, uh, and it has succeeded every single time. Of course, the time I want to make the video on it, they're like, nope, screw you. Okay, so these guys are going to go there. Uh, they're going to play defense. We're going to defend against the British over here. Maybe that'll force them to bring more troops in, but we're going to try and land in the home counties because that is our war goal. As long as we take the war goal, we will be fine. Let's see if it considers us. Yeah, 33% of war goals. That's less than ideal. We're going to need to take care of this pocket, but we landed in the home counties. So now we need to dump extra troops there. My troops need to get onto homeland down here. All right, 41 dude landed. Yo, bro, what the hell? 
What just happened? That is not how that's supposed to work. You know, it's whatever. We're gonna win this fight. As long as we hold this West Country, we should be alright. I'm gonna go ahead and launch another naval invasion around here because they're doing a little too much pushing against me. Okay, well that was just stupid. But they've got 217 troops here, so they're actually committing a substantial amount of troops here. Wait, are none of these? Okay, 186 of Great Britain. That means Great Britain has dumped their entire supply of troops here. Which means we can make big pushes into them. So naval invasion pretty much everywhere in Great Britain. They're going to be too occupied here, and they're not going to actually be able to take our capital. Which means we should actually be able to make some progress against them. All right, so they're chilling here. Naval invasion number one is going, and we're just going to land uncontested and absolutely just destroy the British Isles. Look at that. We just took everything that we were trying to go for. We have 100% of our war goals. They're going to start dipping down into the negatives, and we are going to win this war. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Okay, war goals achieved. I'm going to go ahead and start trying to incorporate these states. Because they should be able to incorporate actually pretty quickly. Five years? Yeah, five years is not that bad of a time. But this has essentially crippled Great Britain. They shouldn't be able to build up nearly as hard as they used to. Yeah, they just lost a bunch of battalions and a bunch of their boats. And they're probably going to lose a bunch of prestige. And they've also lost a lot of GDP. So this is a resounding success. And apparently the Confederated States of America is already a thing. So that, that's cool. Nope. Okay, so I promised that we would get rid of Great Britain, not cripple Great Britain. And I was not lying when I said that. So, step two, we're going to come over to our politics tab, and we are going to do some odd shenanigans. Let's see. We want to piss off the landowners, because they're the most powerful party. So, let's see. What do they want? They want autocracy. They want oligarchy. They want land voting. They want all these things. We need to find something that they don't want. So let's take a look down here and see. Looks like laissez-faire might be the best way to spark a revolution. So who supports laissez-faire? It's the industrialists, but they don't have the support of anybody else. So we'll do that. And then let's see, where is laissez-faire at? Here it is. Or is there a better way to piss off everybody? Ooh, we could get legal guardianship. That would piss off the landowners and the intelligentsia. That's actually probably what we want to do. Okay, so they're very unhappy. I'm going to stop suppressing them because I want them to be full power. Do they have a movement? All right, preserve. So we want to piss off the landowners and the intelligentsia. Easy way to do that. We're going to come recruit a general and we're going to try and find generals of those classes. Looks like we have a landowner here. I'm going to try and find an intelligentsia member, but that's unlikely. Looks like no. Okay, so I'm going to take my landowner guy. Okay, I'm going to promote him all the way up to level 5. And then I'm going to retire him, because this is going to piss off the landowners by 6, which should be enough to make them revolutionary. Let me close that box. Let me look back over here. Okay, so they're negative 9. We may need to do that a second time. And retire him. That's negative 5. That should be more than enough to make them revolutionary. Okay, cool. Now, let's see about... Honestly, I'm just going to retire everybody because I want to piss off as many people as possible. And they're going to start to cut down the size play against us. That is really sad, actually. So... Austria has ruined my plan, so we're not going to be able to do this in 10 years, but, but we will still be able to do it rather quickly, so we're going to have to stop pissing off everybody, unfortunately. So, concede to this, stop trying to pass that for now, and I'm going to turn my military wages back up, because we, we do have to defend against this cutdown to size play, otherwise we will actually lose all of our stuff, and it'll go back to Great Britain. Which defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do. We were trying to cause this war before they actually got involved, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So our goal is just going to be to white piece this one. Way to ruin the fun game. Cut down to size, war goal. Still attacking me. And Spain gave up. That is fantastic. Russia's still here for some reason. So let's launch a little naval invasion against Austria while they're occupied, because... I mean, might as well take advantage of the situation. Oh, here comes a naval invasion from Russia. They're going to get bounced. Ooh, big casualty numbers. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, uh, set my war target to Austria. We'll see if we can snag their capital. All right, Russia gave up. Oh, they're willing to accept white peace. Okay, so 
Unfortunately, Austria is a piece of crap, and I hate them, and they ruined my plans. But, 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 we still have a truce with them for two more years, which means we can go and go ahead and do what we were planning to do in the first place. So, go back to that one law. I think it was, yeah, legal guardianship, which they no longer support for some reason. Okay, let's try this again. Who are we gonna piss off this time? Laissez-faire? That could work. I was trying to get the intelligentsia. But that'll do the rural folk too, so let's do that one. Alright, so they're angry and they're angry. Maybe that'll be enough to get a revolution. Please, please revolt against me. I'm not a good leader. Leader, take tactful. Boo. Ooh, ooh, wait, I have a better idea. I remembered a thing that I could do. We're gonna promote as many landowner affiliated generals as possible to give them more political power. I remembered, I wasn't dumb before. I was a little dumb before, but it's okay. 100, there we go. That's enough to cause civil war. That's what we wanted in the first place. Okay, so if you watched any of my other recent videos, you already know how this is gonna go down. We're gonna wait till the war is just about to start. We're gonna wait for the value to be 99 or as close as you can get to 99 and then we're gonna sabotage our own side building development to infantry focus and irregular infantry and then i'm just going to switch sides because honestly it doesn't really matter where you send your generals click here switch sides of the battle and you're going to win only thing you really need to worry about is keeping your budget under control so i'm going to change that to tier 5 this to tier 1 and these are just gonna sit as they are set the war target to the capital and let's get it all right so that's gonna win this one's gonna win decisively and we should be good all right we have done it so we have managed to civil war flip successfully and i've got to change all of my industry to the correct things again because the ai changed it away from what i wanted it to be okay that should be good this means that our peace treaty with Great Britain is now over. Because we are no longer the same country, we are also almost done incorporating all these states, which is really good. But we can now launch another attack against Great Britain. So we're going to declare interest in North Sea because there's less people involved in the North Sea interest region than there is in the English region. Which means we can declare for states over here and then grab states from over here. Alright, once we get the interest in the region, we're going to declare war for one of the states in that region. So I'm going to go for Lowlands because I believe that is the most important one to the British. So the British military is going to be absolutely suffering now because we took all of their states. So same thing again, but this time we're going to need to actually declare certain states as primary demands. So we're going to go for Yorkshire, Lancashire, we already have Lowlands, and we'd like to take Highlands as well, and Ulster. Those are the states we would like the most. Now, you could kind of take a shot in the dark, because Great Britain might back down, they might not, it really just depends. If you get lucky and they don't back down, you'll be able to take way more states, but if they do back down, you'll only be getting this one, which is really sad. So I'm going to go with four and make two of them primary demands. I don't think they'll back down from this, but there is always a chance that they do. And the only person who can reasonably get involved in this war is the Danes. Denmark is the only one that can get involved. Okay, so they did indeed back down. This is why I wanted to make some of those primary demands. But Great Britain is now Greater Manchester. That's interesting. So yeah, Great Britain is, I guess you could consider this gone at this point, but I do not consider this to be gone at this point. How weak are they now, though? They still have 720 because of their stupid dominion over... Uh, all this so same thing again we're going to reform government let's put the intelligentsia in here and let's pass a law that the landowners hate presidential republic or parliamentary republic or sense of suffrage uh any one of those are gonna hate boom and then reform government that kick them out it should make them mad but not mad enough so go back to the military thing and try that again and retire that should make them angry enough to be revolutionary. There they go. So civil war again, we're going to annul our peace treaty with Great Britain or Greater Manchester as they prefer to be called apparently. This will be the exact same thing as last time. We're going to wait till 99, sabotage ourselves, switch sides and then win the conflict. So same thing again, development, irregular infantry, infantry focus, Switch sides in the war and set your strategic objective to right here, wherever their capital is. And then unpause and then win by default. Okay, 
There we go. We won the Civil War a second time, and now all of these states are incorporated as well. And now we can make another war against Britain. So make sure we got an interest in that region. Conquer state. We're going to have to wait just a second to be able to conquer states here, because if we go for Lancashire, Germany could get involved, and Germany would probably curb stomp us, which would be very, very sad, and I would not be happy. All right, conquer state. We're going to go for Ulster this time, because that's the most important one out of everything they have. We want to take Ulster, Lancashire, and we want to steal india from them now great britain is gonna have no military left pretty much whatsoever you're gonna have stolen pretty much all of their infantry they're fearful of us right now as they should be the chances of them backing down are pretty high so you want to go ahead and add transfer subject of east india company make that a primary and conquer state lancashire make that one a primary as well and after that great britain should be essentially done for i fully expect them to give into this war so we're just going to go ahead and curb stomp them real quick we only need to take link shark because that's their capital so just uh beat them up like you would any other point all right look at this france great britain how are you looking not too good as i was hoping for also east india company the french east india company thank you very much uh cut down to play or cut down to size play that sucks now i gotta fight another long drawn out war they're just immediately wanting to jump in on me. You know what? Piss off. I'll defend. You think I won't? I'll defend you all day long. Bro, are you calling in conscripts to fight me? All for Britain? Kinda cringe, bro. Okay, well, looks like we unfortunately have to fight another one of these stupid cut down to power wars. And Germany's not going to be able to break through, so I'm just going to go for white peace once I cause enough casualties to them. What's the casualty counts? 50,000 versus 120,000. Yeah, stupid. Lose all your dudes. Do it. I don't care. All right, white peace has been achieved with Germany again. Are we... Yeah, we're still a pariah. So, same thing again. You already know what it is. We're going to come down, find something that everybody hates... Yeah, we'll go with national supremacy. That'll piss off a lot of people. Reform government, kick out these guys again. Negative 11. That should be enough to be revolutionary. And it is. So we're going to pull the same strat. I don't think I need to tell you this again, but it's exactly the same as last time. We're going to wait till 99, and then we're going to sabotage ourselves, and then we're going to win. Change infantry focus. Irregular infantry. Switch sides. Uh, find their capital. I forgot to do that earlier. Oh, it's Paris. Duh. I'm dumb. Boom. Got it. This is a dub. Victory Royale. All right. Oh, we're now that color, France. That's cool. But yeah, same thing again. We're, we're going to wait for ourselves to have an interest in the region. We're going to go for Ireland this time. We just need to take as much stuff from them as we possibly can. Wait, how in the world is the East India Company fighting against me? Sir, I'm going to need you to chill. Transfer subject to me. Which one's going to be the biggest hit to them? Probably the Hudson Bay Company. Nope, Cape Colony. That'll be mine. All right, cry about it, moron. I will obliterate you. What do you mean you're confident? You ain't confident about nothing, bro. You're gonna be dead. Who the hell allowed you to be confident in this war? Stupid idiot. All right, so Great Britain, you've been reduced to this little stupid province over here, and you're gonna fall to a minor power. But it's not enough for me. I want you gone completely. So here's what we do. Same thing again, one more time. Form the government. Our landowners are already pissed off. They're angry. Cool, so let's just do one little thing that makes them super angry and they'll be good. There we go. Civil War launched. I don't need to explain this again to you. You already know what to do. So we're just gonna flip it again. All right, is Great Britain a minor power yet? Can I puppet them? They are, I'm going to puppet them. They have no military whatsoever. I'm also gonna take all of their subjects too. But first I gotta handle Scotland. War goes to enforce on Scotland. Crush Scottish secession. Well, then why are they still here? Huh? Game? Are you are you pulling some funny business here? Okay, well, the game just decided it didn't like me, and that's fair because I've broken it way too much, but we're just going to continue on with our plan and pretend like this little Scottish blemish isn't here. So, final step, we're going to puppet the British. This is the final step in our master plan to kill Great Britain. They're uncertain. Now, this isn't going to give us nearly as much uh, infamy as those last wars did, so we should actually be able to win this without anybody getting involved because they are an insignificant power. This is their capital, right? I want to make sure this is indeed their capital. 
Oh, it's not even their capital. Where's their capital? Jamaica? <laughs> their capital's in Jamaica? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, well, I guess we're gonna naval and beat them then. Negative one, positive two, they're willing to accept my peace deal. And that is how you conquer Britain in Victoria 3 immediately. I also have all of their other territories, the Hudson Bay Company, Cape Colony, Australia, India, it's all mine. The British Empire has been eaten by the French and this is a certified dub. The only problem is Scotland somehow bugged the game out. And I didn't actually get to win, even though I crushed their rebellion. But anyway, that is the exploit. That's how you take advantage of Civil War flipping. Eventually, I'm expecting this to get fixed and not have as much infamy. Because it also resets all your radicals. Uh, I didn't really realize that before going into this. But yeah, all the radicals, they just get completely reset. And you don't have to deal with those anymore once you do a Civil War flip. So yeah. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Also, I did a little bit of research. And apparently, leaving a like on a video actually does help it. Along with leaving a comment. So, if you wanted to help me out do those two things, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more Victoria 3 content like this, be sure to subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.